We thought when we stopped Japanese waiting in the Antarctic that Antarctica was safe. And yet here we are, again dealing with a fishery, this time a legal fishery, that is causing massive damage to the ecosystem because they're taking the very basis of the food system away from the ecosystem. We have to shut down this fishery. From the moment you see a trawler pulling their nets next to fin whales, there is no doubt that it's not sustainable. Once we see the consequences of our actions, it's already late because something is already happening. If we have to, we'll come down here as many times as necessary until we achieve our goals. This is our third uh, campaign, documenting the uh, quill fishing fleet. It's unfortunately a legal fishery. The first year our goal was to make sure that the uh, quill quota would not be raised. Thanks to the first campaign, Kamla froze the quota. And now the goal is to make sure that marine protected areas are formed in three areas where there's the largest biodiversity and the largest concentration of whales. By the 1970s, there was a full-scale, multi-vessel, multi-nation krill fishing operation in the Southern Ocean. And the Antarctic Treaty System was new at the time, but uh, folks on the scientific committee were like, hey, we've seen this before. This happened with whaling, and they wanted to prevent that. And so they developed this organization called CAMELAR, which is the Convention for the Conservation of Antarctic Marine Living Resources. The point of this whole convention is to regulate conservation in particular. When you're dealing with a legal fishery, of course, the approach is different than when you're dealing with illegal fishery. Illegal fishery, you can confiscate their nets, you can stop them from deploying their nets, you can take actions to actually stop the vessel from fishing. When you're dealing with a legal fishery, you have to gather evidence to get the laws changed. And that's what we're doing down here. We're gathering evidence now together with scientists to make sure that we can get the laws in place to protect these areas from this destructive fishery. When you're looking at Antarctica, an area that's only been discovered recently when you're looking at the history of the planet. So there is still a lot of the area that is unknown to people. There's still a lot of wildlife that is very little known about the wildlife. When we are navigating through these waters, we find areas on the charts that are uncharted. Nobody's ever actually been there. And yet we have this industry here, factories that are floating right through it, processing wildlife into product. It's disgusting. We want to show the world what's happening down here. We want to show that this is such a pristine environment. There should be no human activity down here. And we're talking about having 30% of ocean and land protected by 2030. MPAs are being formed, marine protected areas are being formed all around the world. And yet here, it's not the case. And if there's any place worth protecting, it's where we are right now. We're down here acting to stop the quilt fishery. But you can also act from home by looking at quilt products at your local retailer and reporting them on safequilt.com. And then together we can address the market of these quilt products and stop them from coming down here.